Hello, welcome to another video from West Networks. My name is Peter West, and today we're gonna to be playing around with monitors. Um, I've got three different monitors we're gonna to show today. We're gonna to compare a 32 inch MSI gaming monitor versus a 49 inch super ultra widescreen uh, Samsung monitor, which you've seen in my previous videos. And then the brand new HP Omen 65 inch big format gaming display. Gonna start with the 32 inch, cause I thought it'd be a fun little evolution. We'll go 32, 49, 65. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about two different things, usability for work and product and productivity, and then gaming. The computer that I'm gonna use to power this is an i7-9700K with 32 gigs of RAM, a one terabyte NVMe um, Intel SSD6, uh, and then a 1080 Ti. Okay, so we're looking at the 32 inch screen. Um, what I don't like about the 32 inch screen for work is that I'm limited on screen real estate. Um, having only one monitor is really tough when you're trying to multitask different, different apps. So normally what I do is I'll have my email set up on one, you know, in one quadrant, I'll have my research going up in the other quadrant and you know, my chat windows are kind of, kind of over here. Um, in a multi-monitor scenario, what I'll do is I'll have like my email on the left and my chats on the right and my work in the center. And I find that to be more than sufficient. The 32 inch is, it's hard to manage that real estate by itself. And this is a single monitor comparison. So I want to put that out here is that this, the 32 by itself is really difficult to manage your windows. I do like to multitask and that's hard with one screen. So let's, let's play some games. Um, I do not have speakers. So. Uh, one thing to, I guess to talk about is this doesn't come with speakers. Um, you, you know, if you installed some speakers, but usually you have a headset, like I actually have, you know, a headset. So I can go to my library and let's snag up Dirt 4. Okay, so I tried this already with this controller. I don't know how to do it, so I'm doing this. I am not a race car person or gaming race car person but this is so you guys can see it. And that's the point. But overall, once again, I feel like with a single monitor of this size, especially, your field of view, I'm looking over here, I'm looking over here, I see nothing. Um, it's, it's not incredibly immersive. I mean, it's fun and, and it's fast. Um, you know, the screen refresh rate's good. Overall, it looks good. I am suck at this, so we're not gonna play it anymore. And once again, this is an i7-9700K with a 1080 Ti. And, and just like with Drift, what you're seeing is, you, you, you know, your field of view is limited, but that that is, you know, that's the way a single monitor is gonna be in this type of environment. But it looks good, absolutely gorgeous. The screen, I absolutely love this screen. So this is um, Wildlands running, I think 2560 by 1440, ultra settings on the PC. I am connected via DisplayPort cable. Got him, I hit him. Awesome. Okay. So anyways, that's a Wildlands, the 32 inch MSI, um, ultra settings. The refresh rate is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I think uh, the monitor is a great monitor. So let's play with the uh, 49 inch. Okay, so I plugged in the 49 inch. Um, I just need to change my resolution to match. The, it is a 3840 by 1080. So I'm gonna lose a little bit of vertical resolution here. Okay, so we've, we've set the resolution to 3840 by 1080. Looks beautiful. So now when I open up my apps, you can see immediately I have more real estate here. I can have my email going, I can have my workspace, and over here on the right, I can have my chats. And I find this to be incredibly, incredibly user-friendly. Um, it's one screen, but I have a lot of, a lot more real estate. For, for production purposes. And there's no vertical bar. So this is equivalent to two 27 inch screens without 
without a, a vertical spacing. But it's only 1080. So it's that that is that's a challenge. So let's go ahead and let's let's just try out dirt four again. I'm gonna set it to oh, there it is, okay, 30, 3840 by 1080, so we're good there. A little low. Oh, way better. Now it's like straight at it, so I can stand up here. Thank you, uplift desk. I love how it like widens out though. I just think that's a lot of fun. And so you can see immediately, you get more field of view with the 49 inch monitor. The downside is that, and what people are complaining about is that it feels squished, which, which I can understand that because it's, it's only 1080 resolution. And so once again, this is two 27s without a vertical spacer. And so I don't expect it to be great. And, but it's one monitor and that's what's nice about it. You get, you have this one monitor that gives you, uh, that's easy to set up. It's one output. You don't have to configure surround on the NVIDIA. You know, you just plug in the monitor and go and you have the, you know, the equivalent of 227 inch screens. However, it'd be way cheaper to buy 227 inch screens, but it looks good is the point and it's fine. Okay. So let's go into our options. We're on ultra. Change this to full screen. Change it to 3840 by 1080. The other thing I have to say is that the uplift desk not only lets me stand up and have fun, I can sit down and focus, but it's big enough that I can fit my massive case and the computer all in one, um, on one desk, which is nice. Now, I do not know if it'll fit this massive case and a 65 inch Omen, but we'll find out in just a few minutes. And you can see, I mean, it just looks phenomenal. I mean, the, the, the ultra wide screen, I know there's, a, there's either, you either love it or you hate it, and I understand that, but to me, it just looks so good. Uh, I, I, have always been in love with the screen since the day I got one. And you can see my GPU's peeking out here at 97%. So that's where I think the 2080 Ti would handle this at a much better, you get a little bit more frame rates out of it. So, but anyways, it's kind of fun there. Let's look at the 65 inch Omen. So this is the 65 inch HP Omen. One, it comes with soundbar with amazing sound so far. Has built in Nvidia Shield so you can stream. Now, we actually, you could take this keyboard and mouse, plug it right into the side of this, no PC, and I could just go to Nvidia Games, go to GeForce Now, and actually stream my entire Steam library right to the TV without any computer at all. I would not need a computer to make that work. Uh, then you also have Android TV. Uh, so you have all of your kind of, your, your stuff here. You can watch your TV shows, your movies. Um, you can play Android TV games. Um, you can hook a controller up to it. So it, it's got all the kind of like the makings of a, of a normal you know, smart TV. Um, you swipe your finger here to turn things up and down, which is kind of interesting. Let's see here, if I push this, go to input, display port. Okay, so here's my PC. Let's uh, get the resolution fixed. So it's at 300% recommended, so I'm gonna change it to 100%. But for productivity, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a 4K, 144 hertz uh, display that you can play games on. So let's see what Steam looks like. Wow, <laughs> this is so clear. This is by far the clearest of all of them in a TV. 
I mean, normally you buy a monitor because the monitor is, and I don't know if you can capture this in the camera or not, how just ridiculously clear this whole thing is. Oh my gosh. And we all know that I suck at race car games anyways. Okay, so let's go to options. I have to say, for all those people that hated how flat the 49 inch was, it's definitely not flat. It, it's, it's, uh, you're a little close though. Um, I feel like you need to be back, but then if you're back too far, then you're not really getting the advantage of the 32 inch, you know, like, the size difference. Gosh, this is so crazy. <laughs> okay. I'll pilot. Oh my gosh, this looks good. We got a whole bunch of people mad at us. This is with a 1080. This isn't even with a 2080 Ti. I mean, it's it's not even. I feel like I'm walking. Like, I think it's like me. I... Radio gear secure. Tell the rebels where to come get their new toys. Let's move. Best board has been destroyed. I don't know what gun that is, but it's fine. So you can see everybody, like easily. And then obviously everybody can know how much I suck at these games, but that's not the point of this video. I mean, that is, it's hard to explain. Yeah, it's hard to explain how easily you can just see every, ooh, there's an airplane. I think I killed some of them with my grenade. Teamwork, baby. Oh, I did get them. Ha! Thanks. Okay. <laughs> it, everything is just... <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah. Om one Omen X 65. We need three. So write in the comments below, if you'd like to see three Omen X's in span, let me know. If we get enough views and enough likes, I will go do three of them. Okay, so we're running uh, 4K. Okay. I mean, it's, it's using the computer. But once again, we're running 97% of a 1080 Ti. So we, I mean, this might be kind of fun with the 2080 Ti. I think in order to do three of these, I would probably need, I'd do two 2080 Ti's in, in SLI. So a little low on the frames, but I mean, that's, like I said, mostly my, my older 1080 Ti. This is... <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> this is insane. 
I don't even, I really don't even know what to say about it. I get... Leave in the comments below if you want to see this with three monitors side by side and span. Uh, like I said, I probably need to get a beefier PC to, to power that. Um, things I like about it. I like that it has the built-in NVIDIA shield. It made it really fun. Uh, we had a little tornado warning last Friday and we were just sitting up without any PC or anything, just playing, playing on the TV. Um, so that was really neat. Uh, I like that you can just watch your games. It has the Android TV support built right into it. I like that the, the remote is like, you just swipe with the remote to turn up and down the volume. I like that it comes with a sound bar, a really nice sounding sound bar. I'm, I'm not a huge audio freak, but for what I've experienced so far, it is definitely movie capable as well as gaming capable. Um, and I like, I like how, how in, uh, obviously you're so, so ridiculously close. I mean, you know, you're sitting here like this and it's like, your world is right there. Is it too big? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna play with it. Uh, I'm actually gonna, once I'm done with this, uh, I'm gonna move it out to my desk and I'm gonna use it for work for a week or so and just see, do I like it better than the 49 inch? Do I like it better than three 32 inches? Um, it does fit on my desk with my my PC. So so I, maybe we can even get a bigger, I mean, HP, a little bit bigger. I mean, that's how big this, this desk is. That's Peter West, uh, this is HP Omen 65 inch. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It doesn't turn. <laughs> okay, well that sucks. <laughs> Can you just crop that out? Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs>